जय हिंद एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द सोल्यूशन एंड एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ क्वेश्चन ट्वेल्व ऑफ चैप्टर सिक्स ऑफ क्लास एज अ बेसिस ऑफ ऑल कंप्यूटेशन ओके सो लेट्स हेड टू द क्वेश्चन सो द क्वेश्चन इज यू हैव टू राइट अ क्लास ओके एंड दैट क्लास नेम विल बी भॉवेल ओके एंड इट विल हैव टू डेटा मेंबर्स वन एस एंड वन सी S is of type data type string and C is of data type int and the C variable will store the number of vowels in that string. Okay, so it will count the vowels and store in C. Your class vowel will have three methods. Okay, three member methods. First one is get str. It will take nothing. It will return nothing. But it will accept a string. Means this is string variable that you have initialized you will ask from the user uh, input as a string and then you will store it into s okay then you have get vowel what does this do this takes nothing this returns nothing but this counts the number of vowels that you have then you have display method and this display method takes nothing and returns nothing but it displays the total number of vowels that you have so let me explain once what uh, you are expected to do so <clears throat> say you have two variable one is s one is c this is of string type and this is of int type okay now this string will say you ask from the user and user gave it say the user gave it uh, say my name it, it gives it harshi okay then space classes so this s string has this string as stored okay assigned to it now what you are expected to do so you are expected to write a method okay the method name is get vowel and this get vowel method will have the logic to count the number of vowels this string has this string has and store it into c variable so see you have vowels one then two then three then four so this c will ha have four and it will display it okay so as easy as that let's head into code so <coughs> so first of all i'll write one import statement uh, that will import the scanner class from util package then the header of the class vowel and then the two variables i have declared here then we have get str method which will return nothing take nothing the header is here i have just copied it from question after that i have made one object of scanner class and then i have given a prompt to user saying that please enter a string okay the user will enter a string and that string will be fetched by this next method and it will be stored in the variable s this get str method will do this only okay after that we have this method called get vowel this header is copied from the question after that in the body what we will do we will run a for loop okay that for loop will go from zero to less than length of our string say for example what i am saying is say this uh, hershey classes is there okay so this is a string it will start from zero then one then two then three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 12 and then 13 total number of uh, characters it has is 14 but it will go up to 13 so what we will do we will start from 0 and check every character 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 and go up to 13 okay and check if it is vowel or not okay so what uh, i have written here see i have uh, written one for loop and then i have made one variable called letter and this letter is of type char okay so what we will do it will store s dot char at i means a string uh, the character at ith index of this string s will be stored in letter and now with the help of a if loop we will check if this letter this character that we have got is a vowel or not using this logic what i have written is if this letter if the character that we have got is equals to small a small e i and this two pipes that we have used is a logical or operator it means if any of the written condition in this if loop is true then they will do this c plus plus any not all any of these above condition are true then it will execute this so suppose they got a smaller letter a, then this will be true 
this will be true then it will enter and do c plus plus okay now c plus plus means it will increase the count of c from whatever value it was to one okay so say i have written okay so, so i'll initialize c with a zero okay so it was z and suppose they got one a so what will be the value of new value of c the new value of c will be one say they got in the next iteration they got e so what will be the new value of c it will be one plus one which is two so it will increase now you see i have written all the smaller vowels and then after that i have written all the uh, uppercase vowels okay so this way our c value will increase and this get vowel was supposed to do that only count the number of vowels this string s had okay after that i have written one display method same this header is copied from the question and it will display this number of vowels plus c so c will have the value after that c1 i have written main method to run all the logics that we have written okay so first of all i'll make one object of our class then what i will do on that object i will call the methods that we have defined one by one so, so first of all we will uh, start get str what get str will do it will ask one string from the user and then it will <coughs> assign that uh, string to s variable then this get vowel will do what it will run a for loop from a zeroth index of that string to less than length index okay so what we will do it will uh, take h then it will take a then r then s then h i every character it will take and check if it's vowel or not if it's vowel then it it will increase the value of c okay after this for loop is done we will display how many string it was there okay let's run it and see if it's work or not so i compiled it and let me run it okay so i'll go here i'll say main method i'll say okay and then what i'll do see the message is there but it is not visible so in the input i'll write anything say i'll write my class name okay so it's her c classes so this has number of vowels equals to two why two because you will see this take input as this only uh, let me correct it we have used next method only uh, i if i use at the time of input i use next line then it will take both of the words okay so i'll compile and then run it you will see so i'll go here i'll run main method i'll say okay and then enter a string say i write that only which i give hershey classes okay so it will give number of vowels is four what are they a i a e okay these four vowels are only there okay so our code is running fine um if you have any approach better than this or you want to say something comment box is open and do like this video to support so that i'll bring more like this okay i'll try to complete the whole book then thank you so much